My name is Regina and I will today show you a demonstration of the Rosemount 2501 rotating paddle which is a point level detector in bulk solids applications. The working principle of the rotating paddle is close to what the name suggests is that the paddle will rotate slowly 360 degrees using a synchronous motor. When the vein comes in contact with a solids media, the rotation is stopped and the, this is then detected by the electronics which will change the output to covered. When the paddle is again free from solids, solids media, the paddle will start rotating again. So let's see how it works when tested. Okay, as you see it rotates very slowly. Now the light is green. And when the rotation is stopped and the signal output is uh, covered, the lights will go out. So let's see if I can show this in a good way. Uh, it worked. Now I remove it. It starts rotating again. Let's see. Now I will submerge it. Ah, this was flour. That's a dry uh, powder. Here we have sand. It worked as well. Then there is a signal output. On my left hand side we have plastic pellets, so let's see, yeah, it worked here as well, now it starts rotating again. So the Rosemount 25 and 20, the Rosemount 2501 rotating paddle is a perfect all-round bulk solid switch. It works for absolutely most solids applications. Both simple and in very demanding processes. The advantage with the Rosemount 2501 rotating paddle is that it has no particle size limitation and it's unaffected by dust or if it is a very sticky uh, product. Also there is an option to have a very um, durable model of the 2501 which can handle high mechanical loads. As you saw, I made no configurations on the device, so it's plug and play. If you would like, there is an option to add an alarm relay, which would alert the operators if there is a fault to the rotation, electronics, gear, or if there is a, another defect of the device. Another nice feature of the device is that you could add, add a signal output delay. This could be interesting for a customer which has problems with frequent switching activation uh, in their solids application, which could be caused by different loading or emptying mechanisms. Or, for example, if they have an application where you many times have build-up along the walls, which sometimes just fall down, which would make the device covered or uncovered suddenly, um, but then when it again realizes its true environment, 
it would then switch between covered and uncovered. To remove that, you could add a signal output delay so that it knows for a couple of seconds that it's covered or uncovered before it switches. To learn more about the Rosemount 2501, please visit emerson.com. Thank you.